Will the other two players, Heartbreak and Diligent, also stick to this? Or they're gonna be with a slower paced playstyle. We know that there's Ragdoll users right here. Gianna might appear a lot in this draft. And I really hope to see a Ciara tonight. Yeah, that would be excellent to see a Ciara. Oh man, it looks like they watched the last game. Pontos getting banned out pretty early there in the pre ban phase. Uh, after that showing too, I'd be afraid of him enough to, to pre-ban him too. And that tells us a lot about what play style he's gonna choose. And he takes away the Gianna. On the other hand, we see Jogan. Is it gonna be a Moore? Is it gonna be a CR? No, he chooses the Ragdoll. He wants to split those two LDs since and we, we talked about how oh. TL Lang was gonna be huge right here. Three of these players own him. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Tian Lang is not the pick you want to see on the opposite side of your ragdoll. Uh, that's a that's an excellent counter pick, and picking it early too uh, is kind of interesting because it's also a fairly neutral option because it's it's just a good counter. It's a good unit you want to have on your comp. Ooh. There's that Lulu that you talked about earlier I'm too. I'm so Sammy. glad. I'm so glad we see the Lulu. So this is probably a 100% res Lulu. Very strong monster against this comp. Bringing in against the Bruisers, a lot of sustain. Heals on every skill, has double cleanse, immunity. And right now he says, you want to bruise it up? Well, I'll bring my Jaeger and Molly. Wow, a Jaeger. This is this is great. I was just thinking this one, this one is missing damage. And now all of a sudden I can't get, there's so much damage now. This is great. Following up, yeah. Diligent, following up with a Leica right after it, a Han too. I really, really like Diligent's draft. He adapted a lot against what was brought to the table. He changes the Han, is it still? No, nope, it's still the Han. The thing is that the Han is nerfed by its own Tian Lang. Remember, the attack bar gain is not only nerfed for your opponents, but for yourself. So I think that's why he was thinking about it. He was like, should I still bring the Han? It's like bringing, a, not as bad as bringing a Diana with a Tian Lang, but you still don't get all the value that you could. But now the last pick, Fort Hard Brick is extremely important because he can bring another source of heals. I would really love a bigger actually here. I know he was nerfed, but it's an interesting monster in this. And he brings the Yan Han, another healer, which probably tells him, I'm going to ban that Tian Lang because I have a lot of attack bar gain and I don't want to deal with that. And I think that's what Diligent was banking on when he locked in the Han too, because you could see him thinking about that symmetrical effect on Tian Lang's passive, mm -hmm. right? But I think when he locked it down, he was like, my Tian Lang is probably gonna get banned, right? Like, there's no way it's gonna make it through here. Notably, there is no source of defense break on Hardbreak side. <gasps> so I'm interested to see what that Jaeger's gonna hit for. What? This is a turn of events I was not expecting. Double trick. <laughs> Neither was I. I really like the ban on the Molly. It's the main source of heals. Yan Hong only has it once. He doesn't have to deal with the glancing. And now there's a big opening. The question is how many of these monsters are on Will and how big of an impact will Gianna have on turn one? Let's see how much Gianna only, only has one, one option. And it's not the option that actually matters because he can't get controlled. <laughs> no Bongo's one's getting like stunned turn one. No one's it's getting like, stunned. I don't care about your Gianna. I was ready for it. So blowing it up using skill two doesn't really matter. The stun won't stun anyone. So he just saves it. It's, it's tough. I I don't know. I would it's it's a close call. Like he's he wants to save it for for the for the Jogun too. We're gonna have to see what the turn order ends up looking like. But if the, the Han had an opportunity to maybe lay down some defense break on it, it might have been worth it. And it looks like Jogun is going far first. Uh, so that was ending up being a good hold from them chooses to strip so he doesn't get blown up by the bomb with the extra turn very well played very interesting he prefers to guarantee the attack bomb on the jaeger that's gonna go really hard and kills that gianna right off the bat that was a huge attack buff value on that jaeger i was wondering how confident he must be in that jaeger because there's no defense break on the side he can just do all the damage regardless with the attack buff from jogan that damage facilitation is nuts Super clutch stun on the Yan Hong Evan. He takes her out. She would have the heal, and now Han finishes it. But he knows that this Han is going down, and everything will be on Lyca's back. Can this Lyca beat his two Can brothers? He carry? Can he carry it against a Ragdoll and a Jaeger? Let's see some predictions. I guess if there was any Dragon Knight that could do it, it would probably be Lyca. But I don't know if it's actually a, a feasible outcome here. Just Jason going out on Tian Lang, bringing him down to about 10% left. That's 
This is it. We are going to see if Flyka can face down his two brothers and solo Diligent all the way to a victory. He needs counters, Evan. He needs every counter he can get. One is out. No it's counter not. on Diligent the second is not one. Happy about this. Counter on the He's... third one. Can he kill right now? He has to kill Jaeger first. Justice go, go. He did it. Go, 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 go. He did it. Like him. I take this. Diligent with the Lyka like This actually might have just saved him the game. This is gonna save him. This is game, baby. Lyka wins Lyka this. Lyka better than Jaeger and Ragnall, and Diligent takes game one. What an amazing ending. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. I guess like if anybody could do it, it was gonna be Lyka, right? We talked about it. He's incredible. If you don't have those multi-hits coming in, which both of those Dragon Knights don't, he just gets so big late game. You kill his allies, he gets more damage through justice. And those two clutch counters, extremely important to heal through the damage that was gonna be dealt by the docks and keep him in the match to finish off both Dragon Knights and the Jogan. A 1v3, classic Lalo, a like a solo. No, li I like a solo, I like it. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a match filled with twists and turns. And I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna get it, but I'm really happy that it ended with a Leica solo. That's one of my favorite ways for an RTA game to close, and I'm glad we got to see it in the Legend Tournament. This is already playing out much more aggressively than I expected Season 17's Legend Tournament to play. Leica boss, baby. I wanna ask in chat, does anyone have a Leica? Would you like to have one? I don't have one. Only my, my friend Duran. That's the only Leica I got to use. <laughs> I want one as well. Here we go, round two, Diligent versus Hard Brick. And this is game point for Diligent as well. If he gets this win right now, he could lock his ticket in for those finals against True Whale. Uh, will, will they switch it up, Evan, and pre-ban now Ragdoll, Gianna, or do they still want to have those on the table? We saw that the Gianna did nothing this past match. Zero. So maybe <laughs> Diligent is rethinking that she just took damage, right? Oh, goes for the ban on the Light Monkey, not wanting to get control, and on the other hand, the Woonsa. So a lot of the same monsters that we saw in the first match, and we might go again on the route of bruisers for this second. Yeah, and like you pointed out, I think those pre-bans really signal that Hard Brick is more than comfortable playing against that Gianna. I think uh, it probably knew that a lot of his opponents were going to present that in a pick ban phase, so he took some of his monsters off will, maybe made some plans against it, and obviously Jaeger is an incredible counterplay option for Gianna turn one. And what I really think is gonna be big here is this time the Tian Lang is on the other side so he's probably getting banned because there's a lot of important monsters that gain attack bar on Diligent side. Yeah and we were seeing those picks sort of fall into place for Diligent just one after the other. He already knew what sort of draft he wanted to bring given this Chung Pong on Hard Brick side finally appearing. I'm really, really glad it's here. So he has double strip, double reset, but only one speed lead. The question is, does he ban the speed lead or does he ban the interruption, the monster that he's afraid of? Because that Pontos is gonna be extremely strong in this matchup. Yeah, and I, he bans the like Pontos and the Tian like Lang, just like we thought. Yeah, Very good hard, brick, hard Brick knew what was going on. We've all seen it. We saw the true whale how to play matchup earlier. You don't wanna be in that mm -hmm. situation. I think that was a great choice. Can Let's see if Gianna, a Triton, without a speed lead, with, we're gonna have to see. Lead. Yeah. Let's see, he's very I, I fast, 116. It's gonna be tough. 116 yeah. base speed. I think that that Joe Gun should probably take the turn one right here and be able to control the match, hide someone on the scroll. If the Ragdoll is off will, we haven't seen Diligence Ragdoll yet. So we have to check if he's on or off will. That's gonna probably decide the match. Who gets turn one here on and well, Jogun Evan. properly. He was ready yep. for Jogun. He was super ready. I think there was only one monster up for the scroll trap. Oh, and the, the speed the speed buff too. He's got so much in his kit. Yeah, that but Jogun. he gets cut. Oh, he gets he big gets time cut, cut by Rango. Gianna. She's doing a lot a more bar. this time than last round. She's the doing Savannah a lot more. She's in. grooving. A lot of damage coming in, and now the Ragdoll can hit on someone with Death Break. Lots of damage, and he'll probably lap with this Savannah. Yes, he does. Bomb on one monster that can proc. Is it the Nafties or the Gany? Puts it on the Gany. A proc from him, extremely strong, and now he can guarantee a kill right here. Who does he go for? Goes for the 
the Nefty's just killing with skill one or skill two. Ooh. Nope, guarantees the kill. This is gonna be a 3v4, and the Gianna will have Bob and a turn. That was a little bit of overkill, but I kind of agree with it because the they definitely presented the biggest threat on the table, but I think a skill one probably would have done it, mm. or a Chung Pung attack would have helped too. Look at that silence. All the, the huge amounts of control coming out. Gianna really proving why she should be in this draft here today. This is game, Evan. He, he was like, he had no choice because if you don't ban the speed lead, you get outsped by the Triton or the Gianna. If you don't ban the Ragdoll, you're gonna give a tech bar to your opponent. What he was thinking was, will I give him enough a tech bar to cut between my speed lead and the answer, my speed buff, sorry? And the answer was yes. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that Ragdoll passive. Diligent with another 2-0 in the Season 17 Legend Tournament. So we've got our finals locked down. True Whale versus Diligent.